Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this tutorial we will be designing this 4 bay pipe joint in SOLIDWORKS and this is its section view. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. And after that change the background to plain white for better visualization. And change the unit millimeters that is MMGS. And after that click on front plane and click on sketch and select here a circle and create a circle at this origin like this now we need to define the diameter so select smart dimensioning tool from here and specify the diameter for this circle as 150 millimeters after that we need to enable the surfaces tab so right click here and in tabs you need to select this surfaces it will be enabled and this is the surfaces tab you need to select this extruded surface command and here you need to define the length of extrusion which is 500 millimeters and since the extrusion is in one direction we want in both directions so select here mid plane and the extrusion will be on both direction for the sketch and check this box from here now before moving any further let me uh, specify some appearance for better visualization purpose in metal i am selecting the brass and this polish brass is fine for this case and now we need to select this right plane right plane and click on sketch we need to create a circle at the origin so select a circle and create a circle at this origin like this and now we need to define the diameter which is the same 150 millimeter so we will define it 150 millimeter and we will do the same step we will go to surfaces tab and select extruded surface command and we will extrude it up to 500 millimeters and mid plane so that the extrusion should be on both surf, uh, both sides and uh, after that let me show you the section view which is incorrect and this is the section view guys let me show you just uh, from the top side this is the incorrect uh, surfaces we need to make it correct so let's do it click on top plane and click on sketch and select a line here we will be creating three lines in one direction two and the third one one two three and similarly one two and this line should be uh, equal to this one okay so now we need to create some relations so uh, never uh, select this midpoint never select this midpoint while uh, holding the control key and selecting all of these lines so hold control key and select all of these corner lines only not select the midline i'm selecting only the corner lines and make relation equal make relation equal okay and now we need to uh, define some relation so make here a center line from this corner to this corner now hold control key from your keyboard select the midpoint and this midpoint for this line and make relation coincident so this is now coincident to the origin point okay now select smart dimensioning tool and we need to define some dimensions so from this corner to this corner here the length is 200 millimeter and same for the other one as well from this corner to this corner this length is 200 millimeter as well and we are left with only one more dimension which is this one all of these lines are equal so we have to define only the length of for one so i'm defining length for one as 50 and all of the length must be 50 let me show you uh, if i select any of the corner line it should be 50 millimeter because we have defined equal relation to all of these corner lines okay so we need to uh, go to surfaces tab and here select trim surface and in this window we need to select this section which is appeared and this section although we need to select remove a uh, selection so but before that let me just click ok now right click here and go to edit feature we need to select remove selection so that only this portion get removed check this box and as you can see now this is the correct one and now we need to uh, select the lofted surface to connect all of these edges so here select this edge 
make sure that you have select only the edge and this edge now we need to define some constraints so here we have starting and ending constraints in starting and ending constraints we will be selecting this tangency to face as you can see this is now a tangent and tangency to face uh, for the ending condition as well and check this box we will be doing for all of these uh, corners we will be doing the lofted uh, surface and constraint as uh, tangency to face for the starting and ending constraints and now all of the edges have been connected using the lofted surface and the ending constraints and now select fill surface and after selecting this filled surface we need to select all of these edges all of these top edges first and then all of these bottom edges later so all of these top edges first as you can see it from here and as we will be selecting the final one this surface will get appear and we need to check this box from here the external and the internal surfaces for this four-way joint is correct now which i will show you later in section view but before that let me select uh, the field surface for these bottom edges as well we need to select only the edges guys so do not select any face and although the face will not be selected in this case as well so very carefully you need to select all of these edges as i am selecting here only the top edges not select any bottom edge and this surface will get appeared you need to check this box from here and we need to do uh, some other things here we need to uh, select this net surface to combine all of these surfaces. so select all of these surfaces these are separate parts we need to make this as one body and after that you need to select this merge entities as well and check this box and now this is one body and not the separate bodies and now we need to thicken it so select thicken and here we need to define the thickness which i am defining as three millimeter and here select this body although you can uh, specify material mid side or inside outside but i am selecting this one and check this box now let me show you the section view the section view from the top side and uh, as you can see this is a section view the internals are now correct which was not in the previous case so that's how we make this four-way joint in solidworks by using the surface tab and surface commands in solidworks thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel